Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hey there, this is G Forever. Yes, and we're looking at the Godzilla vs. Kong statues from Haya Toys, unboxed. Yes, and we have to thank Ned Chang for providing us these uh, up-close uh, photos and video. Oh yeah, we're going to zoom in. So yeah, this is all photos and video from Ned Chang, and because these came out in China. These are out in China. They sell in China for about $37 each. And uh, I think the main way to get them in the United States is from Big Bad Toy Store, which is selling them for $45 each. Because it looks like they're only sold in China, as we'll talk about more uh, in a little while. But what do you think here, G Forever? Yeah, I think um, they, uh, they capture the poses pretty well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We should point out again. These are the these are statues from Haya Toys, not the action figures, because mm. there's a lot of excitement. Haya Toys is also going to make some Godzilla and Kong action figures. These are yeah. not the action figures. These are these separate toys. These are yeah. These are uh, statues, part of their Stylus series. Yes. Yep. Oh, and what are we comparing it to? Sorry, I keep interrupting. That's all right. So on the right is the Ban Presto Ichiban Kuji um, Godzilla 2021. So that one is a Japanese release, which uh, was available in the U.S. Um, oh, yeah. Now we got the SH Monster Arts, I think. Yeah. Oh, and then this little guy on the right is the Sega. Yes, the Sega. Oh, yeah. We're going to cycle through these photos again, so we'll see it, see it well. And we're also going to look at some video. Okay. So up next is Kong. So he's looks like he's jumping in the air with the axe. So kind of like that uh, iconic scene in the movie and uh, let's repeat it in the trailers. Oh yeah, yeah. They gave him a stand. Yep. But oh yeah, there they are. See, there oh, yeah, he is. See, yeah, it looks like a nice recreation of uh, one of the main scenes. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this photo. Yep. Yeah, it recreates the uh, scene there. Oh yeah, it looks like the yeah. Uh, yeah. From from the movie. Yeah. So in terms of size, they're about uh, Godzilla is about seven and a half inches tall. Kong up on his uh, stand there is about ten inches tall. Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But it looks like they're in scale with each other. We'll have to look through, you know, look yeah, look at them uh, together again. But oh yeah, back to looking at Godzilla. How does Godzilla look to you? And, oh, and Kong. Oh, this is also the Sega. Sega Kong. That's, that's a Sega Kong there. Yeah, it looks like the Haya has uh, more detail than the Sega. Um. So yeah, I think um. You know, up close, I think uh, maybe the details aren't so great, but uh, from a from a good distance, I think they look pretty good. It really, it's a really nice um, diorama when you have the two together with Kong up in the air, Godzilla looking up at him. I kind of wish Godzilla's back fins were blue, kind of like getting ready to uh, charge up and um, shoot out his uh, uh, nuclear breath. Uh, so the details, I think, for its size is uh, pretty decent. And the price. So basically, I th I think this is yeah. I think you can't quite compare this to a to a this is best basically in a different category. I think than X plus. Yep. Uh, and also like art spirits, uh, much cheaper. So yeah, not quite as so they're not as uh, like polished. Yeah, not, not as detailed. Not, yeah, not as polished, not as detailed. I think the seams are a little more apparent. Yeah, uh, the seams but, are a little. Too, too uh, but, ba but basically if you want a statue but if you don't want to like spend you know your your whole month's paycheck on a statue so this is a nice uh you know nice affordable option yeah and again but yeah it doesn't really it might not stand up to like really close scrutiny but if uh but yeah you sort of like you know you just put it on the shelf and admire it from a distance i think it looks good yeah agreed i think uh definitely a great diorama uh, having them together but like you said like up close you might see the seams and the details um just aren't as um, as crisp as you would see on like something comparable to this size would probably be uh, art spirits yeah 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 oh yeah so here's the what's it, that ich ichiban you said yeah the ben presto ichiban kuji so in japan it's a lottery figure so you can only win it um through a lottery yeah, so now, like that looks like yeah. Not only is it bigger, but like there's like yeah, there's like no no the, you know, no apparent seams and the ichiban. Yeah, it's a little better better done. There are some seams, but um, maybe it's not as apparent. Uh, the ichiban uh, is actually sculpted by Yuji Sakai, so I think there's a huge advantage with having a well-known Godzilla artist um, behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think this is more like for the uh, like I said. I think this is more like yeah, an affordable option. Yeah, affordable option. Not, not as option. polished, not yeah. as uh, uh, polished here. Yeah, but, a oh, one thing. Fan. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing that uh, concerns me, though, these were announced, uh, when these were announced, they said it's like only for sale, like only for pre-order in mainland China. China. It looks like they are out now mm -hmm. in mainland China. And it looks like the only way to get them that I've seen in the United States is from Big Bad Toy Store, who I mm -hmm. think is kind of like importing them in mm -hmm. uh, at a slightly higher price. But I worry that with the action figures, that it might be the same deal, that the action figures will come out in mainland China and mm -hmm. they they may, may, may not be widely sold in mm -hmm. the United States. But uh, but yeah, so with the action figures, I think the Big Bad Toy Store is listing those for pre-order. So that might mm -hmm. be like the easiest way. Mm -hmm. easiest way to try to get them i was curious if anybody on ebay is trying to sell these and i saw only saw like a few there's like one guy from hong kong mm. who had a reasonable price for them except the shipping was really expensive yeah so uh so yeah i think if you want to get the if you're in the united states you want to get these i think big bad toy store might be the best option and yep. that also might be the best option for the up upcoming action figures yeah i am i am it yeah i am in contact with higher toys but um yeah i think it might be just easier to going going through big bad toy store um since the um you know since they're small enough in size i think big bad toy store has a pretty uh, reasonable price oh yeah yeah it looks like kong's pupil it looks like kong does have some pupils there yeah i'm sure that they didn't give kong pupils it looks like they did but they're not like kind of like they, kind of like a gold color yeah it's not so apparent uh it seems godzilla you can see the pupils much better because he has the lighter eye color yeah with the way kong's uh, face is shaped it's sort of uh mm -hmm. like he's got such a brow it's kind of hard to see his eyes anyway yeah because of the the shadowing around his eyes yeah but mm -hmm. yeah it's neat i think it's definitely a cool diorama um because that's very that's a really icon iconic scene in the movie because it's been like repeatedly shown in the trailer so it's it's nice to have something from that scene um and which we haven't seen from any other company yet yeah and i like these action poses i think these are good action poses mm. uh yeah yeah and i also like the fact the, the idea that you can kind of like put kong on the stand like that mm -hmm. yeah 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 so yeah yeah so if you don't want to see any seams this might not be for you <laughs> but uh but yeah yeah if you want a nice uh nice like sort of like seven and a half inch scale statue uh without you know without without breaking the bank yeah uh, these i think these are uh i like these again i like these uh yeah overall, pretty I like good these, yeah i like these sculptures and the poses yeah pretty good option very, very unique pose and then um yeah like you said doesn't break the bank and, you know, I think for, you know, for like a casual fan or maybe a, a gift to a Godzilla fan, I think they would really appreciate it since it's not too expensive. And, um, you know, if you want something that is from Godzilla versus Kong, uh, this is a pretty good option. No, absolutely. All righty. Okay. This is Heisenberg. And G Forever. Hoping you enjoy the Haya Toys Godzilla versus Kong statues stylus series. <laughs>